Okay, so Alderson Broadus University in West Virginia. Alderson Broadus. It's a not. Go, go. It's Tell a, me. I want to know about it. It's a small school. Uh, we're located about an hour south of WVU. We're in Philippi, West Virginia, which is uh, the historic. It's historic because it was the place where the first land battle of the Civil War was fought. Uh, we're. Uh, I actually knew that. There you go. <laughs> I'm a history teacher. Well, that's good to know. Not everybody knows that. Yeah. So, uh, so, so you guys are. are it's, it's in the mountains. We're okay. on top of a mountain, yes. You're on top of a mountain. Um, you know, I look at West Virginia, one of the most beautiful states, obviously. You know, John Denver sang about it, right? We, 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 every time we come back over the border, we put uh, put that song Country on. Country Roads. Yep. Okay, looking at it, you guys are an NCAA Division II, mm -hmm. which I don't know if people know about wrestling. I, in my opinion, I think that's the future of college wrestling. Um, it's growing at the small schools. It's, uh, you know, we're an enrollment-driven school, and the schools that are adding wrestling are all enrollment driven schools they need to put uh, kids in classes so that's where it's growing so you know like I'm from like Tiffin's 20 minutes from my hometown right okay. so they they've added since you know I left Northwest Ohio obviously Notre Dame College I told you I, I drive by that all the time right they're the best team in the country they're fantastic and you know they, they get 70 guys on the roster yeah they get 70 guys on the roster you know, you guys, obviously, it's, if it's enrollment driven, you got to put guys in beds. That's kind of the big thing. And then, like, you know, I've even talked to, like, Heidelberg. Heidelberg's enrollment driven. They're Division three, but you got to put guys in the team. Do, does that present challenges to you, bringing guys to, you know, kind of rural West Virginia? Is that hard to do? It's uh, not an easy job, but I, I love it. I have guys from 12 different states on my team. i got guys from Alaska, Kansas, Washington State. I get them from all over, Arizona. Uh, Florida. I mean, I have kids from all over, uh, so it's it presents its own challenge. But if you're looking for a small school, small classes, uh, personal attention, uh, we're an outstanding place for that. We have a, a fantastic uh, program in the uh, medical sciences. We have our own cadaver lab. Most schools with 1,100 kids don't have their own uh, place where you can carve up dead bodies. Uh, you know, we're out in the mountains. Uh, we have deer and turkey. Uh, all on campus. Uh, my guys go hunting uh, when they can. They go. We have a place you can go fishing right around the corner. Uh, it's just a beautiful area, it really is. Going into medicine, you know, obviously, whenever you're working on a cadaver, you know, when you have to explore a human, you're you're going to go into medicine, right? So you guys got probably pretty good medicine program or pre-med, if you will. We have a, a nursing program on campus. We have a uh, physician's assistant program, which in a lot of rural states, it's hard to get doctors to move there. So the PA programs. A, important one we have uh, we're beginning an optometry program our pre-med program top of the line I had a couple guys graduate head off to med school last year another guy uh, graduated and he's going to uh, uh, pharmacy school next year so it's a uh, it's a good place for, for that sort of stuff okay what are you guys looking for here recruiting like you're in Jersey you know um, what are you looking for uh, you know you've been here the whole time man I've seen you the whole time I've seen that beautiful man mane of hair well I do have the best hair in you got great, I, I gotta be honest I know you and Frank Romano when he puts the gel in he's got pretty good hair for an old dude but that that is a beautiful man mane there's no question but what are you looking for as far as recruits in there I'm looking for guys who are just willing to get after it a little bit and, and love wrestling I mean to wrestle at the division two level uh, you're not getting a ton of a ton of money a ton of fame a ton of notoriety you're going out there because you like to compete you want to wrestle you want to you want to continue your your career uh, so if, I don't care how good you are I mean I'll I'll take you if you're real good but if you're uh, if you just love wrestling then you you have a home with us if you want it okay when a kid comes here and they're, they're kind of you know it's hard they're sore they're aching they just ran this morning what do you want to see out of them as far as a guy that you're gonna be recruiting and want at Elvis and Brothers are you willing to to pick up on the technique that's being put out there? A lot of kids have their own way of doing things already, and a coach comes in and shows them a slightly different way. You know, are they doing what the coach says and trying to learn, or are they just reverting right back to what they normally do? I want to see a kid who who's at least going to try and, and learn and try and see if it works out for him. And then if it doesn't, okay, that's fine. But I want to see a kid at least putting in the effort that he's going to learn what's being taught. Coach Cooperman's about to roll. I'm sure that'll be a, a hoot and very entertaining. You got anything else for me? I'm here, and uh, I'm enjoying it, and uh, thanks for taking some time out to talk to me.